Hi guys, my name is Robert DeVere from New Build Designs, as some of you might know. Today's tutorial is going to be short codes within WordPress. So this is where we're going to do it on, the basic template you get with it. If you open up your appearances and go to your editor, scroll down until you can get theme functions. And then just scroll right to the bottom and we'll do the code from here. First of all, if we were in a, the start of it, we would need to do the PHP tags, but as we're not, we don't need to do this. First, we create a function, like so. We then call it what we like. Oh, oh, we're gonna do a very basic one. We're gonna start with just a H1 tag. So with that for a function, we'll call, we'll call it something like UPL h1 tag with a bracket we then say that there is going to be some attributes and if there is content make it so if it is if there isn't content shall I say that it doesn't matter simple as that we have now created a function it won't actually do anything but it's a function next up next we need to return the one thing in uh, short codes is you have to return whatever the function is asking you to do so we do single quotes h1 because that's what we're actually focusing on single quotes means basically we're going to be doing html within it we then concatenate and then we do the beautiful function which helps called do short code And we can concatenate again and again with the HTML tags and we close the H1 off within the do shortcuts we put the content this is basically saying whatever is put through it it applies this filter to now for the magic part we add the add short code and then this takes two parameter parameters so we'll do that first parameter parameter is what should it be called when someone's actually calling the function or the short code what should you call it well let's be basic and call it h1 and then you grab your function name and place a function name within it. There you go. We save it and then go to a post which posts another test. Go to another test. Now if we call the short code by simply bracket h1 bracket this is a h1 title bracket close h1 bracket update and then let's preview this in here as you can now see this is h1 title we inspect this as you can see it is now wrapped in a h1 tag that concludes this tutorial next time we'll go through attributes and how to make it a little bit more dynamic until then, thank you very much.